A lawyer came to Jesus and said, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, well, what's the Bible say? What's the law say? And the man said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and love your neighbors yourself. And Jesus said, you answered right, correctly. The man wanted to make himself look good, so he said, well, who's my neighbor? So Jesus told a story, a parable, that illustrates and teaches about loving your neighbor as yourself. There's a man going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, but on the way, some robbers come after him. He, man, he has to run. I think that was a dangerous uh, road. And so some robbers, maybe hiding back in the trees, they come running after him. They take his stuff. They take his clothes, leave, they strip him. Now, are they loving, loving their neighbors themselves? Of course not. You don't hurt others. You love your neighbors yourself. You don't take their stuff away from them. Don't harm them. Now the man is lying there. Here's scene two. He's lying there by the road. No clothes on. Half dead, Jesus said. That's a pretty bad place to be. Night's coming. But he hears footsteps. And this is going to be hopeful because it is a priest. And the priests know the law of God and they can help. They're not real poor. But the priest sees the man. He just walks by on the other side of the road. Now, did he love his neighbor as himself? Of course not. Now, he may have told himself, well, I'm doing the business of God, the Lord. Well, he may have said that, but he sure missed, missed it here. Did not love his neighbors himself. After a while, this priest is gone. Maybe here's some other footsteps. It's a Levite. The Levites were those who were called to help the priests and do, you know, if the priest is like a pastor, that the Levites are like a deacon or a church. The Levite did the same thing the priest did. He walks by on the other side of the road, neglecting to help. Whew. It's getting darker. He's getting worse. Maybe here's another voice or another sound, somebody coming. He looks. Now this is not gonna be very encouraging because what was coming was a Samaritan. And the Samaritans didn't like the Jews and the Jews didn't like the Samaritans either. It was sorta, of, the Jews sorta of treated them and talked about them like they're half-breeds, mongrels. Sort of a different part, different race different, sort of different religion. But the Samaritan has, feels sorry for the guy. He has compassion, Jesus said. So he gets down to help the guy. He has some stuff to treat, to put on the sores. Says some wine and oil. And now does something maybe to bandage him up. And then he puts him on his beast, it says. Now this guy is being nice. He may be a Samaritan, a different race. The people didn't like each other, but this guy doesn't let that stop him. 
He puts the wounded man on his animal and takes him to an inn. Now this has taken a good bit of effort. This certainly wasn't in his plan. It would have been easy to say, well, I, I've got things to do. But that's not, didn't stop this man. There the wounded man gets to ride. The man who, maybe he was riding, but he's giving his ride to somebody else. They go to an end. He pays for a place for them both to stay. Now this is, this is, this is neighborliness. This is love. Loving your neighbor as yourself. Then the next morning, he gives the innkeeper some money and he said, he says, take care of him. And if you spend any more money, tell me about it and I'll pay for it. Now that's impressive. He gave him two days wages already. Two coins, two denarii. That's a day's wage. Now that's pretty generous. And he says to the innkeeper, if you spend any more, tell me, and I'll pay that too. Now what's this guy's rule? What makes him do this? I'll tell you what it is. He's loving his neighbor as himself. He's doing to that guy what he'd want somebody to do to him. That's a simple rule that most anybody can understand that God gives. Love your neighbor as yourself. And that's how we can tell if we're saved. We all used to go our own selfish way. We didn't want to go to the lake of fire. When we turn to the Lord, we make a change. We hurt others, now we'll be kind. We've said things to hurt them, about them, now we'll talk nicely about them. We've said things to them that hurt them, now we'll talk nicely to them. That's how you can tell if you're saved. We know we've passed from death to life because we love the brethren, the Bible says. By this shall all men know that you're my disciples if you have love to one another. We will honor, even if they're a different color, or a different tribe, or a different country, or we, they, we, they're in a different social class. We think we're better. Or maybe they think they're better. We can still be kind. I was in a sort of a squatter city a few months ago, and I had two flat tires. And at this, this particular place has a reputation for being pretty rough. I was pretty impressed with how kind people were to me. Three different times in that couple hours, somebody gave me a ride. Somebody gave me a ride to the place to repair the tire, and somebody gave me a ride to the school where I was to preach. Somebody gave me a ride back again. They were kind. We can greet others. Like I say, even if they're a different color, a different social class a different tribe, from a different country. We can forgive. God forgave us. If we love our neighbors ourselves, we will start treating them like God treated us. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Somebody said, oh, I, do you love your children? Well, if you love your children, of course you're going to provide for them. You're not going to be running off with some other woman, off playing all the time. You've got some children. If you really repent, you're going to realize those children God has given you, that's about the most important thing you have. You'll love them. You'll share with them. You'll play with them. You'll train them. You'll teach them. 
You won't spank them, will you? Yes, you will. The Bible says, he that spares the rod hates his son, but he that loves him chastens him early, carefully. If we love our children. And here's another thing we need to remember. The Bible says, this is love that we walk after his commandments. God has given us his commandments to show us what's right and what's wrong. A lot of things we already knew. Anybody knows it's wrong to kill somebody. You ought to know that. Yeah, some people are confused, but most people know that. And most people have enough sense to know you don't get in bed with somebody else's wife. You don't steal people's property. But some things we didn't know, and God has given us the law. So we'll know what's right. And the Bible says this is love that we walk after his commandments. We'll also show love by setting a good, good example, especially for our kids and for others and for those who look up to us. Love your neighbor as yourself. We won't offend others. There are some people that think certain things are wrong. We think they're okay. They think it's wrong. So we're gonna be careful not to offend them. The law of love will guide our actions toward others. So here's a man, he's attacked, he's robbed, he's hurt, half dead. They didn't love their neighbors themselves. The religious people didn't love their neighbors as themselves either. The priest, the Levite, who did love his neighbors himself? A guy from another country, sort of a different religion, acted different. They didn't like us, we didn't like them, but he, he had compassion. He loved his neighbor and he loved him so much, he took time, he helped his, he, he treated the guy's wounds. He gives him a ride, loses his own ride. He takes him to an inn, spends, a, it costs a lot of money, you know. Gives the guy two days, two more days wages, and then promises to give even more. Jesus said, which one of these guys pro proved himself to be a neighbor? The priest, the Levite, certainly not the robbers, or the Samaritan, we call him the good Samaritan. Well, the guy didn't want to, didn't sound like he wanted to admit as a Samaritan, he said the one who showed mercy on him. And Jesus said, you go do the same thing. Go and do likewise. Let's make it our business to love our neighbor as ourselves. Think about what we would want, do for others. Think about what we would not want and be careful not to do those to others. You shall love your neighbor as yourself.